Hello everyone, my name is Kenny Cormandy from the YouTube channel Meyer Gun Reviews and today instead of doing a gun review we're going to take a look at a trigger modification for uh, newer style Gamo air rifles that do not have the SAT or CAT trigger. This is a Gamo Wildcat Whisper uh, .22 caliber with the IGT piston and it's got Gamo's simple plastic trigger here and uh, this trigger is unlike the Crossman's or the earlier Gamo's here I will uh, show you what the new trigger assembly looks like As you can see, that trigger is not one where you're going to pop off the stock, remove a pin, and slide the trigger out, and put a roller bearing in it. The best fix for this trigger is a longer adjusting screw. Okay, here you can see the adjusting screw behind the trigger. The stock one has a Phillips head. So you'll need a Phillips screwdriver to pull it out. And the replacements, I have not found any in Phillips head, but they use a, what they call a socket head. Uh, here's what a socket head screw looks like. It uh, requires a hex wrench. Uh, as a matter of fact, specifically it requires a 2 millimeter hex wrench. Okay, here is the original adjusting screw out of uh, this camo rifle and right here this is actually a 10 millimeter long the original is 6 millimeter the one I am, have installed in the gun is an 8 millimeter so that's a two and a half millimeter by 8 millimeter socket head screw uh, the Crossman's use a 3 millimeter screw and Gamo uses a smaller one, a two and a half millimeter. Uh, I found this at uh, Hub Hobby in Richfield, Minnesota. So, any hobby store that sells radio controlled vehicles should have them in stock. Okay, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove that screw completely and then using your two, mi two millimeter uh, hex wrench, install your new one. Okay, after you, you run, it, run it in so you've got about two millimeters of play or recess from, you know, the head from the, the trigger housing and start from there and turn it one quarter turns, cock the rifle and try it until you start getting close and as you get closer to where you want to be then start maybe going uh, one eighth turns. Uh, you can get it in far enough so it'll be a hair trigger. You can actually turn it far enough in so the rifle will uh, discharge as soon as you cock it. So that's why you want to go in slowly and get to that right spot. You don't want to turn it all the way in and have the rifle discharge uh, after you close the barrel from loading it. And here I, I will show you a a little clip here of uh, what the trigger will act like with the new screw in it. Okay, I have loaded a cleaning pellet into the gun and there you can see our first stage and now let's see if we shorten the second stage at all. Okay, when I put that screw in I aired on the side of caution and I left a little extra play I can turn it in maybe another eighth of a turn and get it even closer but the trigger feels real good the way it is right now 
So you can actually make this a hair trigger. You're, the trigger is going to pull back real lightly till you hit the second stage where you're up against the sear. And then a very short uh, pull to make the rifle fire. So that is how you uh, improve the trigger on the newer gamos with the plastic trigger. My name is Kenny Cormandy from the YouTube channel Meyer Gun Reviews and thank you for watching.